Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we have an incredibly valuable video for you. And I know, I know if you've had your notifications turned on and if you watched the last video, you'll know that I'll be giving away a whole bunch of stuff today, including enrollment to the Seller Pro Academy. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's pretty cool as well. So uh, if you are interested in this sort of content, Amazon FBA tutorial type stuff, make sure you are subscribed with your notifications turned on. Let's get on into this video straight away. All right, guys, so uh, this there's a lot of content to go over. I may have to split this up into two videos. Hopefully I don't, but if I do, then I will. Um, but if you haven't seen last the last video I uploaded last Wednesday, go and watch that, maybe just before you watch this video. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway or giveaways uh, over the next four weeks and this is the start of it, this video right here. So uh, you have the ability to win a whole bunch of stuff today. I've never done this before, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be wicked, but today we are gonna be going over my 12 step strategy to launching your first Amazon FBA product. So you can waste zero time and launch your product as efficiently as possible without cutting any corners as well. I think that's the really important thing. Uh, it's like 12, 12 steps, it sounds pretty, too good to be true, right? But it's not, I'll take you through it today. And we've got some some cool stuff we are looking into uh, just before we go into that as well. So, you're, so you get started on the right foot. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm losing my words and, Let's go, let's start, giveaway, okay? So, uh, on this video, you are gonna have the chance to win uh, enrollment to the Seller Pro Academy 100% free. It's gonna be for uh, one lucky person. All you have to do right now is like, comment uh, on this video. Say, yes, I wanna win stuff, Johnny, give me the free stuff. I want a scholarship to Seller Pro Academy. Say whatever you want, uh, just not mean stuff uh, because it will probably go to the spam folder, uh, which means that you won't be counted for it. Don't put any links in there. Again, that will go to spam and I won't see your comment. Uh, okay, cool, so like it, smash the like button, comment down below, just do it now, you might as well just do it now, get it over and done with. Uh, and yeah, share the video if you're not, I haven't put share the video, but if you wanna share the video, then share the video. You also need to follow me on Instagram, at Johnny Bradley UK. The reason is, is because I'm gonna announce the winner on uh, on Instagram within the next 24 hours of this video going live. So the reason you need to comment and you need to do all this stuff now is because by the time you're watching this video, if the giveaway is already over, then you don't have a chance to win this particular thing. However, you may still win one of the future giveaways that we've got within this video, okay? <sighs> okay, um, you must contact, uh, so once I announce the winner on Instagram within the next 24 hours of this video going live, you need to contact me within the ne within that next 24 hours, uh, just on Instagram is absolutely fine. Screenshot of you signed into your YouTube account so I can obviously uh, make sure it is you and then we will arrange for your uh, your enrollment 100% free of charge. And then all of the giveaways that we're gonna be doing today, the same process follows. Go on Instagram, when I announce the winner, which is gonna be picked at random, then um, you have to contact me and just prove obviously that, that you are who you say you are and we will get you your prizes. If you don't contact me within 24 hours, I am not gonna be chasing you. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and find you. you know, I'm busy, I've got stuff to do. Uh, you, have to, you have to come to me. Uh, if you don't do it within 24 hours, you're gonna forfeit your prize. Yeah, and it was just gonna to go to someone else, okay? So uh, if it if that does happen, I will do a rollover until the next week, so next week's video. And uh, yeah, anyway, you get the gist. Um, if you do do this and you're already a student, you're like, oh, I don't need the course twice, then what I'm gonna do is give you basically a uh, your enrollment feedback. So whatever you paid when you enrolled, I am going to give that back to you. Think of that a little, like a little cash grant that you're gonna get from me to put towards your business. So that's gonna, that's gonna be really helpful. Um, and this is just so it can be as inclusive as possible going to do that you must be a student of it makes sense uh, same rules apply to that there's gonna be one winner okay one winner uh, but there's also gonna be four videos this video and then three subsequent videos if it if you love it guys if you really kind of engage and you show the love then I will continue doing this forever but I mean I'll do it forever that's that's a commitment that maybe I, I can't commit to because eventually I am gonna die um, but anyway so the value we're gonna give away is is literally life-changing um, the, the, the Seller Pro Academy, the course, the training, the, the mentorship has changed many people's lives. So um, this is literally life changing. The, the thing that I don't want you to do is if I do help you out and I'm able to basically give you this awesome tool, don't just sit there and don't use it. There's so many people that have messaged me saying that it's gonna be, it would be life changing for them to get it. Um, don't be one of those people. If you are fortunate enough to win, you know, I can't give it to everyone. If you are fortunate enough to win, bloody well, use it, put it to good work and, and 
and just use it guys uh, next week we are going to do it all over again okay so subscribe now turn on notifications so uh, you get the next video when we upload it next Wednesday and this is what it's all about guys 10k club awards where have we got one we've got one over here got some more over there which have just been delivered um, I want as many people to get these as possible for when you make your first £10,000 on Amazon we even have the 100k awards I don't have ones physically in, in person I think they're being delivered uh, this week which is pretty cool I will do maybe a video on, on that but they are exquisite um, and I want to just, just take you through this and show you that, look, whilst this is not easy, right? It's not like simple to set up a business and to get your product launched on Amazon and make it a huge success. It's not simple, it's not easy, but it's possible, right? There's gonna be things that get tricky and you're gonna to have to think, you have to strategize. But honestly, guys, if you just put your mind to it, if you really focus on it, you can get some ridiculous results. And I just wanna pull out one person. You might have seen him on the channel before. I've done an interview with him. And um, this is a guy called Emilian. And he enrolled uh, probably about a year ago. He started selling, I can't even remember. Uh, but it was it was something like, yeah, it's about, about, let's just say it's about a year ago, okay? Just keep it nice and easy. And he said to me, this is in a message, he said, from one click on your video to 250,000 pounds profit a year. So over a 12 month period, if you were to take his kind of current uh, revenue, he would be doing about 800,000 pounds, not dollars, 800,000 pounds a year. And out of that would be doing about 250,000 pound net profit margin. And that's all started from watching one of my videos uh, and just kind of getting, just taking action, right? The main thing he did was just like, okay, this is cool. I'm just going to do it and I'm going to make it happen. Uh, and obviously he's had ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous results. These are certainly not typical, but it's possible, right? It's definitely possible. He even said here, um, oh, I didn't, I didn't screenshot this one, but he said, uh, you know, some people don't believe him, but obviously when you see the numbers, it's, it's hard not to believe, but yeah, ridiculous. Congratulations to him. Um, he worked really hard for it. So I, I, I want you to be able to access that. But you might be thinking, oh my God, that's like too much money. That's not achievable. That's ridiculous. There's no way that you can do that. So I wanted to show you someone that you may be able to appreciate a little bit more, like maybe able to align with a little bit further. So this is Owen and uh, he literally said to me, you know, I was once homeless, bro. Um, and now he's been able to have his first uh, thousand pound day. And just a few weeks ago, he's only been selling for like four weeks, four or five weeks. And when he started out, he was feeling a bit like, oh my God, this is, maybe it's not going as well as I hoped it to go. And I was like, keep pushing forward, keep going with it, keep getting more reviews, improve your pictures, do this, do that, do that. Uh, and then he started, you can see the little curve there as his sales just went up like drastically. Um, and then he had his first thousand pounds day and that actually ended up quite a lot higher. He's now in the 10K club. Um, um, which is incredible. And just to show you guys that, you know, it, it, it is possible to, to do well from this. It is possible to make money if you just approach it in the right way. And today's video, I wanna show you two real things about, first of all, how to approach it the right way and uh, a theory that I use for not just Amazon products, anything I create that has a sale to it, that I'm, I'm selling something. I wanna show you the, the kind of theory I use for that, which is gonna help you, okay? And the second thing is, I wanna show you how to launch your product as efficiently as possible. So you're not waiting around a year to try and launch a product, that you can do it within about, uh, I guess, a three to more, four month uh, time frame. From as in from doing nothing, from not really knowing anything at all, to actually launching a product. And it's possible, many people have done that. Uh, I think that's a very reasonable time frame to aim towards. Uh, yeah, let's go on. So uh, th again, this is all about the community, guys. If you wanna get stuck in and you wanna learn about how to sell on Amazon, don't just sit there in your room and do it by yourself. Get part of the community, join Facebook groups, start networking. You know, if I do another event just like these ones, come to the events, meet people, because everyone here was saying how good it was to meet people in a similar situation to they are. I can't tell you how valuable that is. Um, I'll do another meetup uh, at some point, I don't really know when. If you want it, guys, let me know in the comments, uh, maybe where we should do it, I, I assume London, um, but when we should do that as well. Uh, and obviously, if you ever come to these and uh, you're fortunate enough to get a 10K or 100K club award, then I will give you that as well. So my point here is guys that you may not believe this right now, but you can do it. You honestly can, you just have to take action and you have to really work on it. You know, if you want it that much, then you will make it happen. Even if you make mistakes, even if you, it gets hard at times, um, just continue pushing forward. And I hope that's okay. The motivational stuff is kind of out the way now. That's part of the video is done. Let's crack on to the absolute 
mad, 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 mad value. Okay, so um, I'm gonna talk to you for today my unique one product, product research strategy. Okay, and I guess a market research strategy, product development strategy, but it's my strategy in, in, in whole. Uh, we're also gonna go through the simple 12 week strategy to launching your first product. This is really cool, something I've been working on for a few weeks and I started launching to my students a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and then you have loads more giveaways and bonuses. So uh, yeah, thumbs up for the bonuses. First thing we're gonna go through, the one product theory, okay? So I want you to write this down. I want you to understand this. I, I really need you to understand this. There's no point starting this business or any business if you don't understand these things. They're not they're not just about Amazon. These are about, this about business. If you have a business and it does well, then you probably understand these things, right? The first thing, the first thing is that once you understand your customer, you can empathize with their needs, right? I will say that again, because sometimes it's confusing, even I'm confused. Once you understand your customer, you can empathize with their needs. And what I mean by this, okay, and I see people do this fantastically and terribly all at the same time, or maybe not at the same time, different people do it differently. And my point is, if you're trying to sell a product on Amazon, and you don't understand what the customer needs, what they're actually wanting, then how can you pr provide them with a solution that they're gonna want? If you don't know them, so a great example for this is, let's say a dog uh, product, okay? Something for, for dogs, or actually this, because I could, I could have a dog. Let's say for pregnant women, all right? I will never be a pregnant woman. I will never know what it's like to be a pregnant woman, ever, <laughs> ever. Um, so how the hell am I gonna understand the needs of a, a pregnant woman if they're buying this product? Uh, and Cause I don't, you know, I'm not even a woman. I, I just wouldn't know. So what I would have to do is go out my way to do what we would call market research to find out what the customers want, right? What they need. Once you understand them, you can empathize with them and then you can start to do the next few steps. So if it was me and I was selling some sort of, you know, maternal product, then I would go and I would ask people that are pregnant. Right, or ask people that have been pregnant. I'd ask my mum, I'd ask my sister, I'd ask people that, uh, you know, friends of, of pregnant people, I don't know, whoever. But I would ask them questions and I would find out from them, right, I wouldn't pretend to think I know, I would go and ask them. Equally, if it's a product for someone that, you know, has a dog or it is for a dog, you can't ask a dog, but a product for a dog, then you'd go ask pet owners. You wouldn't just make up what you think they would want. Uh, what I did for Hydrofuel is that the reason I wanted to do this brand is because I needed it. I needed the product, so I was the customer and I could empathize with that. I then asked a lot of people. I asked people like people that are into sports, people that weren't into sports, people that just worked at a desk all day, uh, people that, you know, uh, young people like teenagers that wanted to clear up their skin. I asked these people and I got feedback from them. The more you understand about your customer, the more you can empathize with them. That's so, so, so important. And if you're launching a product, doesn't matter if it's on Amazon or if any business, if you do not understand your customer, you are not going to be able to provide them with a solution, okay? Hands down, and if you do, you're deluded, right? If you think that you can do that without knowing your customer, you're absolutely deluded. Second thing is once you empathize with your customer, you can understand the desired solution. Once you can put yourself in their shoes and you understand what they want, what they need, you can then foresee the solution that they need, right? You need to do it in this order. You need to first of all understand what they want, and then you can actually look and say, okay, this is what I want, this is what I need. What does that look like in reality? How is that gonna manifest into a physical product or a digital product or you know, a membership or some sort of product that you can give to people or you can sell to people? Once you empathize with your customers, you can understand the desired solution, right? A perfect example, again, is with the, um, if, if I was selling something for pregnant women uh, or just pregnant people, I guess pregnant women would fall under that. Then once I once I understand them, I can start to come up with a desired solution. If I come up with a solution without understanding them, I don't know if that those if those customers, if that demographic is going to want that solution. There's no way for me to, to know without having asked them. You need to ask these people. Once you empathize with your customers, you can understand the desired solution. Write this down, guys. Screenshot this page. Do whatever you want. Write it down, but just understand it. The third thing of this theory, okay, is that once you understand the desired solution, you can create the complete solution, right? Once you understand what the customer actually needs, like what they want, what would work, you can then start to actually create it and create the solution that you can sell to them, right? 
not the potential solutions that could potentially work. It's the actual thing that is going to work for them. It's going to give them the solution they want, right? Once you understand the desired solution, what they want, you can create the complete solution is what they're going to get, right? So these three things have to go in this order. You can't do it the opposite way around. You can't think about what the complete solution is before you even know what the, the customer needs, right? The customer's needs and wants. So that's the first thing or the first three things. Write that down. If you like that, let me know in the comments if this has kind of opened up any, any ideas for you. And when you're doing your product research, right, uh, which we're going to go on to in, in a second when we talk about sales, you need to be thinking about this, right? Don't be thinking about all oh, the numbers and numbers and numbers, like doing equations and stuff. Um, this is the stuff. Put yourself, you know, this, we're real people we're dealing with, real customers. We're not dealing with numbers on a spreadsheet. We're dealing with real people with real problems. Um, and if you approach it from that angle, from this angle, you will be so much more successful. And every single one of the success stories in the course, they maybe they've done it like this or they've done it their own way. But what they have done is they've created a solution for the customer that solves the problem better than their competition. And that's why they sell more products, right? And that is it. It's simple, guys. It's simple. It's how business works. Right, so to find the complete solution, right? So we, we understand our customers. We understand what they want. We empathize with them. We, you know, we've done our market research. We've asked people. We've come up with the desired solutions. And we're thinking about the complete solution. We're like, oh my God, how do we come up with this complete solution? All right, so what we do is we get the demand. Uh, we get the PCN and the PCS. Don't worry if you don't know what that means. We're going to go through this in a second. But in the middle, once you cross all of these over in this Venn diagram, yes, I went to school and I learned about Venn diagrams, then you get the complete solution, right? That is where it's held within that middle bit, right? The little middle bit, little crossover bit, that is a complete solution. That is what we are going for. If we can create this complete solution for the customer, it's a no brainer for them to buy it over the competition because we've we've given them exactly what they want, probably plus a lot more as well. So the first thing we wanna look at is PCN, potential customer needs, right? If you've seen some of my videos before, you might know what this is, but to give you a, an idea is when you need to, when you wanna start empathizing with your customers, so this is the kind of practical way of doing the theory that we just, just spoke about. When you wanna start um, empathizing with your customers, you're gonna start thinking about their potential needs, right? Why do they want this product? Why do they need the product? Let me go. Let me get you. Uh, let me get you my new bottles. Hang on. So look, look, guys. We've got my new bottles. This is a damaged one, unfortunately. So don't need that. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, there's a cat on the side. I got quite scared. So when I was coming up with these, these are now the blue ones. We like the blue ones. If you like the blue ones, uh, who wants one of these? If you want one of these, type hydrofuel into the comments. I will choose uh, maybe one or two or three or five winners, and I'll send you one of the blue hydrofuel bottles if you want that. Um, when I was coming up with the ideas here, I didn't come up with the product first. The product came after I found out the potential customer needs. And I was looking around hydration. I wanted to build a brand around hydration, not around bottles, right? You may not, you might think, oh, you wanted to sell a bottle. Wrong, I wanted to solve the problem of hydration, okay? That's what I wanted to do. Um, and the potential customer needs for me was like, you want a big bottle because you don't want to go to the, the sink every five minutes filling it up. You want something that's leak proof. You don't want to leak in your bag with your laptop and your phone and your bits and bobs or whatever. You want something you can take to the gym, you can put it around your wrist, it's easy to hold, the grips is nice. Uh, you know, you want something that's not gonna break so you don't have to keep buying new ones because historically bottles are really, really bad and they break easily. Um, but also the other things that, that no one really think about, and this is how I found the gap in the market, is I was like, how do you solve the hydration problem? So, well, people wanna be reminded when to drink. So that's why they buy bottles with like, drink down to the 400 milliliters well, or like, there's times in the day and it tells you to, to, to drink at those times. The problem is though, that that doesn't help. If the bottle's that way around, sorry, that way around rather than that way around, or you're not looking at it or it's in your bag, you're gonna forget. So I was like, the need is to hydrate. How do I help people hydrate? So first of all, you've got to figure out why people want the product, okay? Why do people want the product? Are they getting towards pain? They're buying something, sorry, they're buying something that to, to get towards pleasure. So they're gonna get enjoyment out of the product. Not in that way, guys, not in that way, nay. Uh, or they're trying to get away from pain. Also not in that way, but away from pain, right? So people, in my instance, were trying to get away from the pain of being dehydrated, okay? And that was the main focus, and that was what I focus the rest of this stuff on. So potential customer needs, write down a whole list of these. Uh, if you see my other videos, you can go into these. I've done longer, longer videos on these. Uh, but you need to find the potential customer needs first, right? That is the first thing you need to do. Empathize with your customers, okay? The, sec the second thing is that you need to, uh, you need to find out your potential customer solutions. So this is when you get a big list, right? You have all your needs, all your wants, all your desires of your customers, and then you start coming up with 
solutions for those those issues. Now think outside the box, no idea is a bad idea, just keep thinking of ideas. If you have a problem that's in your uh, the PCN, potential customer needs list, and you haven't figured out a solution for it, figure out a solution for that problem, doesn't matter what it is, and put it into your complete uh, potential customer solutions list. And again, make it long, 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 long. And eventually what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the complete solution. You're gonna find the things that match best, you know, the biggest problems with the best solutions, and you're gonna add that and create your product, okay? This, the third thing, uh, which is actually the first thing, really, is the demand, right? Does it sell? Does it actually make money? Are you able to, sweet, are you able to make money selling the products? That's really important. So this is where you use tools like Jungle Scout or Viral Launch or, or Helium 10. So you can assess the sales velocity. How many sales are they making uh, or is the product category making every single day, every single month? You know, are there lots of reviews? What's the competition like? So this is the numbers stuff. People, most people online that teach this sort of stuff, they only do this. They only say, I'll just find something that sells well. And then they just kind of like, don't tell you anything else which is ridiculous because the other two things are so, so, so incredibly important and they're the actual things that make you stand out and make you successful. No one ever talks about them, right? No one ever talks about them. I'm telling you right now, put a lot of focus into it. It has to sell, granted, you have to be able to sell to customers. If customers aren't searching for the product, then there's no point wasting your time with it. If customers are searching for the product, it doesn't sometimes even matter if there's a lot of competition, because if there's a lot of competition, you just have to put more effort into making a better product. You have to put more effort into launching your product. It doesn't mean that it's impossible. You just have to work harder on it. It might take you a bit longer to build up like an email list for your customers, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. Anything's possible. You just have to find the way to do it. You have to find the solution that's gonna work, right? So once you have all these three things, you just cross them over. You get the product that's got a good demand, right? And you may even want a sub niche of that product. You find all the customer uh, potential needs and you figure out what the best ones are or the, the most important ones are and you get all the solutions and then you figure out what are the best solutions that can, that's gonna solve the, the, um, the biggest problems that is still gonna be able, is still gonna mean that you can access the sales. You're not gonna do something so bizarre that means you're not gonna be able to actually sell to those customers. And then you find the, the, the complete solution. If I've got a little slide for this, there it is. There it is, the complete solution. So that's the first thing you need to know. I wish I had a bottle of water right now. I've got very, very many bottles, but none of them with water in. Oh my goodness. Um, so do we all understand that? If you understand that, let me know in the comments right now that this makes sense. Just say, yes, I understand what the complete solution is. I understand how important empathizing with customers is. And our, uh, it's our, mm, uh, I understand you know, uh, how important it is to, to understand the desired solutions. And I understand how important it is to find the complete solution. If you uh, understand those things, let me know in the comments because um, if you didn't understand those things, then by all means, tell me. I've done a bad job if you uh, if you don't understand that. So my whole idea, my whole uh, premise for this video or this section is just do it right once, right? Don't rush, don't cut corners, don't assume that you know the customer when you've done no research, right? Do it right and just do it once. Because if you can do it right once, you're gonna learn so much that's gonna help you going forward. So when you do launch variations or you do launch another product or another brand, you're gonna be able to get to the point where you figure this stuff out way quicker because you've already done it before. You're gonna understand that putting the time in at the beginning, at this point right now, is going to pay off, right? It's gonna pay off if you do it right, okay? Hope you, hope you all understand that. Do it right, just do it once. Right, so that's what we uh, cover the first little thing. Uh, my unique one product, product research strategy. You heard it here first, everybody you heard it here first. Uh, I don't know what the time is, but uh, I think I think we're gonna continue on with this video. Um, hmm, shall we continue on with it or should we go for a break? Ooh, I don't know, let me know right now guys if this was enough for you. If it was enough for you, then uh, next one I'll, I'll break it up. But let's, go, let's just continue going. Right, I'm just gonna continue going with this. I feel like I'm on a roll. Uh, I'm having a good time, so let's continue going with it. Uh, in the next few minutes, I've got more giveaways, guys. I have more giveaways, so stick around for uh, the, the next few minutes, okay? So um, we're gonna go through my 12-week strategy to launching your first product, okay? 
Um, so this is something I created called the Seller Pro Incubator, right? Seller Pro Incubator. Now this isn't a like a training program or anything like that. It's not something I'm going to sell to you guys. Do not worry, I'm not selling it to you. This is um, this is something I did to help out my students, right? So anyone that enrolled from about two weeks ago, they're automatically um, basically given this this Seller Pro Incubator. It's a list of emails and videos. So I'm not going to go through obviously all the emails and all the videos today. I'm going to give you the cliff notes. I'm going to give you the overview, so you can go and and basically figure out yourself um, if you want to. Obviously, if you want to get the content that's actually direct from me, then you would have to be a student, um, which, is, which is cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go through that today. And, and, and the reason I created this is that a lot of people will not know what to do and when to do it and where to spend their time. Uh, I'm a big person for efficiency. I, I create a lot of to-do lists and <laughs> a lot of the stuff doesn't get done because it's, I just don't feel I'm being efficient enough when doing that task. So what I wanted to do was create a, a timeline of what you should be doing each week. It doesn't, it's not a strict timeline. You can vary from it. If it takes you more time or less time, fine. It, it doesn't, it's, it's not set in stone, okay? But it gives you an idea of what you should be working on at any particular time, any particular week when you're trying to launch a product. And honestly guys, this is gonna really, really, really help you if you're just about to start or if you just have started. If you already launched a product, then this is not gonna help you um, because you, you've done the process, you understand what this looks like, okay? Um, you may think to yourself, oh, okay, actually I should have done it that way, but maybe not. So we're gonna go through 12 week program. I'm gonna give you the, uh, the I guess, like yeah, the overview of what to do in each week. Uh, feel free to take screenshots of this, feel free to do whatever you wanna do to retain the information. Uh, I'll give a couple minutes on each one. Uh, first of all, if you want to get my Supplier Scripts Pro training completely free, so it's a, a, a small list of scripts that you can use with your suppliers and also some training, negotiations training that goes alongside, like high level negotiations, so you can actually get a good price for your product, then uh, comment down below with sp uh, and I'll pick one person to win, right? Same rules as apply as before. Uh, I'll, I'll do it all the same time, okay? I may continue to do this as well in the future, so uh, just always, just, just leave comments, guys. I really appreciate it when you leave comments. It helps me out a lot. Right, so the first thing is, the, the when if say for example you were to enroll into the into the course, right, um, or in any any training program, doesn't have to be mine, any training program. The first thing you need to do is learn, right? You need to join the communities. It's so important that you join communities. Don't do this alone. Don't sit there in your room or in your kitchen table trying to do this by yourself. Because first of all, guys, entrepreneurship is a lonely place to be. If you're by yourself and you don't have any anyone to lean on, it's gonna be really hard mentally for you, okay? So join communities. I think that's really, really important. I have some free communities on Facebook that you can go and join. There's no charge to do that. You just go and join and then you can start messaging. You can start commenting. You can you can learn a whole bunch of stuff, but please, please, please just join communities. It's so, so, so important. The people that get stuck in and they start networking, those are the people that all have the screenshots of their sales, right? They're the people that are successful. It's no coincidence. It is no coincidence. But of course you have to start learning, right? Um, Quite often I will say to people who enroll with me is, I say try and watch like the whole course, uh, just start to finish, but don't worry about actioning any of it straight away, just so you understand the process from start to finish. Because a lot of people will ask me questions that in three videos time, it's answered, right? Because sometimes questions will pop up, which they do, but they'll be answered later on. So just learn, join community, start engaging in the content, start learning the content, right? And if this, if you're not taking any sort of training program, obviously extend this week to make it longer, right? Because obviously when you don't have a training program, the things are gonna take longer to find out, they're gonna take longer to do the research and find people that actually have, have done it well for you or created good content for you. So just, that might be a month, it might be three months, but that's really what you wanna do is the first step. Start learning and start joining communities, number one. The second thing you wanna do is start product research as soon as possible. Product research is Amazon FBA, right? If you don't have a product, you don't have anything to sell. You're gonna make no money. Yeah, um, yeah, Amazon FBA is product research, okay? So that just because product research isn't in week three doesn't mean you don't do it. You're always gonna be doing product research, right? Always be looking for products until you find a product, but then even still keep looking for them. So you're gonna start your product research, you're gonna get a bit more in depth with any sort of product research, research content, different ways to do it, uh, 
all about product research, okay? The next thing you wanna do is set up your company. You need to do this basically straight away. So you can pick a very generic name if you want to. Company names, first of all, you can always change in the future. It doesn't have to be your seller name, so you don't have to think of what you're gonna sell and your seller name right now. Just create a company, make some generic, and then it's done. A company will take a few days to set up, uh, and then that should take you into week uh, three, which is fine, okay? So get that set up. Week three, start sourcing. And by this point, you've understood about product research. You kind of understand, okay, this might be a bad product, this is a good product, or it's, I'm not quite sure, and you're, you're learning, right? So throughout this whole process, you're learning, and you're, you're kind of uh, adapting to every single time you do something new. Week three, you're gonna start sourcing. And what I'm not, I don't mean is that you're going to go and, and source the product and negotiate on the product that you're going to sell because that probably won't happen in three weeks, but you need to get started with the process and you need to start understand how to speak to suppliers, you know, how you deal with them, the terminology. So you're just getting stuck in. It's like, like uh, learning how to ride a bike, you're just on your stabilizers and just kind of learning because you don't want it to you don't want to be in a situation where you find the product that is going to be wicked. And then the first time you ever you know, start sourcing is with the product you actually want to sell because I'm telling you guys, you're not going to do it as well as if you've had practice. So you need to start practicing with this stuff. Second thing you need to do is set up your bank account. So by now you have your company set up. By now, uh, yeah, company set up, you want to be setting up your bank. Um, reason is banks take week, two weeks, three weeks. They can take a long time to set up. Sometimes you have to go into branch and prove who you are and all that sort of stuff. So uh, you're somewhat reliant on the timeframes of the bank. So that's why you wanna get these things set up straight away. So that is week three. Uh, week four, okay, is is you're gonna to start to look at the, your one product focus, right? Understand why customers buy things. Start doing the theory that we spoke about yesterday. So now that you understand a bit about product research, you understand a bit about sourcing your product, you're now gonna really go in depth with product research and start finding that, you know, that one product as such, but start identifying the customer needs, start identifying the customer solutions and approach it from that angle rather than just from the numbers angle because you would know how to search for numbers, Jungle Scout and Viral Launch and Helium 10, they're not hard to use, they're very easy to use. It's just like going on AutoTrader, going on eBay and just sort of right move. It's the exact same thing. Um, in terms of searching. So, but now you want to focus on the customer solution, the complete solution. So all the theory that we looked at earlier today, this is where a lot of people will just skip, right? They'll just completely skip this stage or it's not their fault. Sometimes they're just not taught this stage. But I want you to, at this point, week four, really start focusing on the customer. That is so, so important. Understand why they are buying these products. Week five, you're gonna create a product shortlist. So you should be doing a lot of work on this. Don't spend any time doing anything else. You know, if you're doing a half an hour a day or an hour a day, whatever your time constraints are, work towards them, uh, work with them, and start to create your product shortlist. So you might have three, four products that you're thinking, oh, these are quite cool, okay? Um, and what you wanna start doing is, again, really bringing that down as much as possible and understanding which are the best financially, which are gonna be you know, uh, the, the best in terms of sales, like potential for the future, which do you enjoy the most, right? Um, which have you got the best solution for that's actually really gonna help people? And just start thinking about these things and get your shortlist together. Um, and that you, you might still be doing product research at this point. Again, if you haven't done this by week five, then of course you can just delay it, but this would be the next thing that you need to do. Week six is branding and product offer, okay? Branding and, and product offer. So. Once you've got to the point where you're thinking, okay, then this is sort of the solution I'm looking for, you now really wanna hone down and think, okay, what's my brand? What is my company? What do we stand for? Why would customers wanna be part of our community? Why do people wanna buy our product? What is the product offer? Can I make it better? Can I add a membership? Can I add uh, this guarantee? Or can I do something for the customers? And really, really work, right? Really work on your product offer, your complete solution, and your brand, right? That's what I really want you to work on during this time. Because at this point, you should really basically have a product set um, and you should understand roughly what the complete solution is, but you wanna really nail down and work out you know, who you are as a company, as a brand, what it is you're selling, who you're helping, who your customers are, basically why you're doing it. Um, so those, that is week six. Now, another little giveaway for you guys. Love a bit of a giveaway. Um, so if you wanna get my monetization, monetization mastery brand training, which is basically gonna teach you all of this stuff, 
right? It's all about understanding your why, understanding customers, why they buy things, why they don't buy things, how to create your brand, uh, how to create a wicked product offer and really extrapolate that product offer to be as big as possible. Then that's what the Monetization Mastery course is all about. It's mastering monetization so you can make the most out of your brand. So that's why, for example, I can I can charge more for my products than other people because they, they have a better brand. They have, I've monetized those, those products better than my competition because they've just done a half-assed approach. So if you want to be able to get this uh, completely 100% for free, uh, then comment below with money. Just say money, right? And uh, I'll pick someone to win that. It can't be the same person as Seller Pro Academy because this is included in the Seller Pro Academy. Uh, so yeah, I'll pick someone. So comment down below for that. That's worth 997 all by itself at least. Uh, so yeah, comment down below if you want that. I will pick a winner. All good fun, right? Lots of free stuff. There's thousands of pounds worth of free stuff. We're on week six, so we got to we got to continue pushing, guys. Uh, next one is week seven. Audio product samples. Okay, if you haven't done this already, you don't have to do it in week seven. But if you have not done it by now, you need to have done this, right? Your product samples need to be ordered. You need to be testing these. Ideally, you would have done this before. You would have done this about two weeks ago. Um, but this is definitely a little thing I wanted to add in there to say, mm, make sure you've done it. It's very very important. Uh, but you might have decided at week five or six that the product you were going to go ahead with or you wanted to do actually you didn't want to go ahead with it because the solution wasn't good enough it wasn't strong enough so again you would go back to the drawing board uh, and you'd repeat that process until you have that product and again you would order some samples don't ever buy products for selling on amazon without having a sample ever don't do it. Week eight, negotiations, right? So you want to start negotiating by now. You've got your product photography. You know a bit about what your brand's going to be. You know kind of roughly all the numbers and all that sort of good stuff. You're going to start negotiating with your suppliers, like really negotiating. Before, you might have been kind of dabbling with like prices and stuff like that. And now, this is the point where you need to get your price, right? Get settled on the price that you're going to buy these these products for. It might take you a week. It might take you three days. It, it depends on your ability to negotiate. Uh, but you, you really need to be working on negotiations at this point. You also then need to be looking at photography or 3D renders for your product because these take time, right? Uh, for, especially if you're sending a product to someone um, or if you're having a product 3D rendered, it's gonna take a week, it's gonna take two weeks. So you need to get this start, stuff started really as soon as you have your samples, you have a physical product in front of you. So you can actually go ahead and get it um, photographed and then you can have your logo kind of uh, photoshopped on or again, if it's a 3D render, then you can have it um, just like designed onto your onto your products. But get that started now. Um, I have people for, for both of these things. If you need photography or 3D render, 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 renderers, uh, let me know. Um, just email me and I can introduce you to people I have. Uh, so get that set up. Week nine, you're going to start setting up your product listing. Of course, you need things like photos, you need SEO, you need your uh, keywords, backend keywords. So you're going to do all that good stuff. Set up your product listing. It doesn't have to be complete, but it has to be set up. Okay. The reason is because in week 10, we're going to order your products, right? You're going to have, you're going to know exactly what products you're going to get. You're going to have all your logos ready. You're going to uh, have negotiated the price. You're going to have used your sample. You're going to all those good things. You're literally ready to go. By this point, then you could procrastinate for a long time, but you just need to order the damn products. Week 10, order the products. That'll probably take you a few days uh, to kind of confirm that, order it, check the contracts, all that stuff. Week 11, right? You want to confirm, uh, oh, order your products. I should have added something in. I should have added in a uh, shipping plan. You need to do your shipping plan um, just before you, I always do my shipping plan just before I order my products, um, which you do need your listing set up for. So I, sorry, I didn't add that in, but no, I did. Week 11 is you want to confirm your launch strategy, okay, and start preparing for it. So uh, again, you can start this before, and I do urge you to start thinking about your launch strategy before you've actually ordered your products. But if you haven't, this is a time where everything pretty much from now onwards is focusing on your launch, right? There's pretty much nothing you need to do except for that. So you're going to confirm your launch strategy, you're going to start preparing for it. Uh, week 12 plus right you're going to finish your listing and you're going to polish that listing you're going to get the best images you've ever seen in your life you're going to get make sure it's search engine optimized you are going to make sure that your everything is just as good as it possibly can be you're going to continue with your launch strategy however it is you're going to do that and then you're going to wait for your products to arrive at the amazon warehouse you want it to be so that when your products arrive at the amazon warehouse you are ready to go you know exactly how you're going to launch your products you know exactly how you're going to get reviews you know how many reviews you're going to get you're going to uh, your listing is complete there's going to be no faffing around trying to get pictures on your listing 
And when the products come in, you say, you know, okay, they're going to come in on the 15th of July. So I'm going to set my launch for the 25th of July, right? So give yourself some time to really prepare, make sure Amazon received the stock in time and set a launch date and then just, just go all out on that launch, right? absolutely all out this is not where you stop working this is where you've just had a few weeks basically waiting for your products to arrive and the reason i have 12 plus weeks is because some shipping will take 14 days some will take two months and it really depends on your particular circumstances but as soon as you've ordered those products everything everything you do is about launching your product because your launch is so influential in the success of your business and as soon as you've got your products in, you want to hit the ground running. You want to have people lined up that are going to do reviews for you. You want to have people lined up that are going to buy the product. You want everything set. So you're not stuck there when the products come into stock and you're thinking, Ooh, what do I do now? How am I going to launch my product? Uh, it's not saying it's too late, but you've had time to think to think about that and to organize it. So don't just uh, order your products and then go, ah, oh, relax. No, I don't have to do anything now. Uh, that's when you really need to kick into gear and uh, get selling. And if you do all these things, you can launch uh, within, it's probably gonna take a few weeks to get your stock in, you can probably launch within four months, right? Within yeah, 12, 12 weeks to 18 weeks, something like that. Uh, and you, you could make a huge success out of it. Of course, you can do it quicker than this, you can take longer than this, this is not a, you have to do it exactly this way. But this gives you an overview of what you should really be doing at any particular time so you can get to the point of launching as efficiently as possible and without cutting any corners. This is gonna cut no corners. You know, if, you've, if you don't have as much time to be able to do these things in one week, just make it longer, right? It's nice and easy, you're not gonna hurt anyone by doing that. You don't need to rush, right? These products are gonna be there in the future unless it's seasonal or anything like that, in which case, let's try and stay away from it. But just continue to push forward, right? Continue to push forward all the time. And um, that's how success is made, right? Action, consistent action. All right, so this is what we've covered today. My unique one product, product research, strategy, theory, extravaganza, the simple 12 week strategy, which is very, very simple guys, um, to launching your first product. And then of course, we've done a whole bunch of giveaways. So this strategy works, guys. This strategy works. The only thing that will stop it from working is you, <laughs> frankly, uh, is, is you. You know, if you decide that you, you know, want to skip a step, if you uh, don't want to put the customer first, then those are things where, you know, you can make mistakes. But the, the strategy, the system, it works. It's worked for many, many, many people. So um, if you approach it in the right way, then there's no reason why you can't achieve what you want to achieve, right? Uh, I get some incredible results all the time from my students. So it's not just me, it's not just, you know, Emilian, it's not just Owen from earlier. There's loads and loads of people that have joined the 10K club, that now joined the 100K club, which is madness. Um, it's, it's all here, guys. I've got the awards coming this week, which is really, really cool. So just to clarify this competition for today and the next uh, future videos, then make sure you're liking, make sure you're commenting on this video and you're subscribed, of course, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Johnny Bradley UK so you can um, figure out or find out who the winner is. I'll pick the winner at random within the next 24 hours of this video going live. You must contact me within the the next 24 hours of that point, uh, letting me know that you won, okay? And send me a screenshot of you signed into your YouTube account so I can, I can vet you for that. If you don't do it within 24 hours, sorry, you forfeit your prize. There's no way around that. I'm not, if it's 24 hours and five seconds, then you, you forfeit your prize. 24 hours is more than enough time um, to get something for free. Uh, if you are a current student, same rules apply, but instead of enrolling you into the Setup Pro Academy for free, I will give you a refund on your enrollment, right? So you basically have money to put towards your launch or your product or having fun, going out, getting pissed, whatever you want, right? I don't really care what you spend it on. Uh, there's gonna be one winner, remember, and this value uh, that we're giving out is gonna be literally life-changing for, for um, a few people. All the other giveaways I talked about in the video, I'll also announce on Instagram. Next week, we are gonna do it all again, so make sure you are subscribed, turn your notifications on, right you get the little bell symbol by the notification uh, by the subscribe bar it means when this video goes live uh, next week or when a video goes live next week which is also going to be an absolute value bomb i'm going to just try and teach you as much as i possibly can within a kind of half an hour window or so i don't know how long this one went on for it, probably 45 minutes or so uh, if you want me to make it shorter let me know guys uh, i'll make the next one a bit shorter if need be i can make it longer as well 
Um, and if you want to get started today, if you can't wait for all this and you're ready to take action, you're like, you know what, Johnny, uh, it sounds good to me. I want to get involved. I want to get stuck in. I want the mentorship. I want the support. Then all you have to do is go to the link in the description, Solo Pro Academy. Um, I've done all redone this page recently, so you can scroll down. You can see all the cool stuff that people say about it, all the results. You can go to the successful, which is really cool. I've got all like testimonials and student results and it's wicked, just all the success. Uh, it covers everything that is going to get included. Um, you just go through, go through to the checkout and uh, you know, enroll if you want to enroll, and I'll get you into that little ecosystem. So today we have looked at my 12 step strategy to launching your first product within 12 weeks. So you can start making money as soon as possible without cutting corners. If you've enjoyed that video guys, which I really hope you have, make sure you let me know in the comments. Uh, I hope one of you, well, one of you will, will definitely win, uh, which I'm looking forward to. And of course, I apologize for all the people that didn't win, but that's just the way a competition works, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a wicked day and I'll speak to you all. Uh, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.